In this video, I am going to show you how to trace an object uh, to make an embroidery file or an applique file in Embroideryware. On my screen, I imported an, uh, a graphic object, and in an earlier video, I showed you how to do this. Um, so I'm going to take it from this point, and um, what I need to do is go over here to my curve um, tool, and I want to make sure I trace the flower. So I pick my curve tool, and notice I have a point right here. On a curve tool, you'll have four points. This is the end point. Then you have a control, control, end. Control, control, end. Now the key is, is to get your, your end point into a corner or on an edge. So I go control, control, end. And notice how I am not too worried about where I set my points. And I'll show you that reason here in just a second. The only ones I'm concerned with are my end points. So I trace all the way around the flower, ensuring that I have my end points. Here's a control, control, end into a corner. Control, control, end. And I just keep going around. And the um, control points are where I get my curves. And my endpoints is um, I see more of a definition of a of a point. So I'm going to end my drawing, and you're going to take a look at that flower now and see stitch lines, but it's it's really not very pretty looking right now. And you notice that I still have a lot of purple showing on the outside. Well, I go over here to my object um, bar and I pick on the flower that I just traced and I make it active. I go up to my toolbar and I pick edit points and I click on it and then I just pick a point I click on it let off my click and drag it out and see that red line that it creates that's what I want to follow is the red line so I click on a point drag it out click on my point drag out and really, there's no way to mess this up. If you mess up, you just go to undo or you move your point back. Um, but you just want to get it exactly the way you want it. And there's re you really don't even have to follow the object exactly. This is your creative um, design. And you can make your flower any shape you want because, as we all know, flowers are not perfect. That's the beauty of them. But I'm doing this for the sake of the video so you understand how easy it is to trace an object. Now I'm going to pull this out a little so that my curve will come out this way. And I'm almost done tracing. I'm going to pull this one out a little. And this one. Okay. Now I like what I see. I love the shape of the flower, so now I'm going to um, do my center. So I'm going to click off of this graphic object here, and I want my center outlined. So I go up to the quick circle, I select it, make my point, drag, and hit my click button again, and look how easy that was. And I do not have to reshape that because it's a perfect circle. I love this quick option here. And I hope in the future that the owner, Jim Bailey, adds more quick features like that. Now, in my earlier video, um, on the uh, applique video that I did, I created my satins first for my applique. Um, and I followed the four applique steps. Or you could even take this and fill it in. I'll show you real quick how easy that would be. I click on my object. I go to my quick fill. I do fill underlay. There's the underlay. And then I go over here to edit, duplicate. And I'll pick the quick button again. And I will do fill top stitches. And right there, I have an automatic 
underlay and top stitch and the the program knows what to do it gives the correct angle and the correct fill and you can change the fill to any um, fill pattern that is within the program if I uh, the reason that in my applique if I wanted to make this a true applique design um, I the reason I work backwards and I know that's probably uh, come to mind for many of you when you watch my applique video the reason for that is um, if I were to go in and, and manipulate these points uh, after I do all four steps and I manipulated the satin on top, then I have to go back and redo all four steps. So I prefer to do, let me go up here to my flower and click on it. I prefer to do my automatic satin first manipulate these points um, and get them exactly where I want them. See how deep this line goes versus this line. So um, I would manipulate my satin first, all of the points and get them just where I want them. And then I do the other stitches. And um, if I did it in the proper order that it would stitch out with my placement, cutting, tack down satin, and then I manipulated my satin, I'd have to go clear back to the other four steps and change them. So I always do my final step first, get it just the way I want, and then work my way backwards with the, the cutting or the tack down, cutting, um, and placement lines. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and now you understand how to trace an object to either fill with a pattern or for embroidery or to make an applique. Thanks for watching.